Because I don't, I don't have to be cooperative with your investigation. Well, you have to ID yourself. Right? No, I do not. Okay. I, I, I absolutely do. Tell me why I have to ID. Well, Colorado State Law says you do. Ex explain that to me. You want me to recite the law? I want you to. You want me to tell I, you? I want you to explain why I, me as a person, have to ID to you. Colorado State Law says you do. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Anonymized. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. Today, we're taking a look at the Grand Junction Police Department in Colorado. We're going to see as a Marine, a man who went overseas and fought for his country, was held hostage while pumping gas based off a very unclear description of a crime that happened the night prior. The description that the police stated they had was a dark colored sedan. Well, that may be 50% of all vehicles in the state. The other part of the description was this, that it may, keyword may have been a black male. The description already is terribly unclear. Was the car black? Was it a dark blue? Was it a dark gray? They just have a dark colored sedan. The other problem is the description stated that he may be black. It wasn't definite that the person who committed the crime was actually a black male. He could have been white. He could have been Asian. He could have been Hispanic. But when you state he may be a black male, that is not a definite description. And that is not something you can use to detain a citizen. When the citizen asked the question, hey, well, why are you stopping me or why am I detained? Listen to what the police officer states. Possible attempted homicide. Why is there a possible in front of it? Because he's not sure. He has no clue what he has. But yet, what they are sure of, like always, they're sure that they're going to make the detainment based off no evidence whatsoever. Remember, I always say this, and I'm glad this citizen says this in this video as well. Reasonable, articulable suspicion must be suspicion of you actually committing a crime. And there's another key part to that of you, you committing a crime, not the entire world, not the entire city. It must be reasonable, articulable suspicion that this citizen has committed a crime. Therefore, I have the right now to detain him. They did not have this, but they tried to pretend like they did. Let's jump into this video. We'll dive more in later. I know, but your recording is a lot easier or a lot harder to get versus mine. Okay, so. well, can you please roll down your window more? No. So talk to you? No. What do you need? All right, well, I need to identify you. No, you do not. My name is Officer Pesetis with the Grand Junction Police Department. All right? All right. What, what's, your, what's, what's your badge number? 2016. It's right here. Okay. And this is my corporal right here. This is Corporal Church. Okay. As well. Okay. All right, so I need you to identify yourself. No, that's not how it works. I have rights as an American citizen, right? Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah. You have to suspect me of committing an actual crime in order to identify. Failing okay. to identify is a secondary offense. You have to have an actual charge or you have to suspect me of committing a crime. You don't have that. You have nothing. I'm not going to identify simply because you, because, because, because you see me park and you want to come up and identify me. That's not how it works. So, okay. So here, I'll clarify some things for you. So you understand why I'm coming up and okay. to contact you right now. Okay. okay. Earlier in the night, there was a shooting that occurred right near the travel lodge. Okay. And your car is similar in description, a dark colored sedan. To okay. The suspect vehicle. Okay. All right. So you're seeing leaving the travel lodge. Okay. Have information that's where the suspect might have come from. Okay. All right. Okay, but but do you have actual? Do you have a license plate number? Do you have a description of the person? Do you have anything? No, you you do you do not have articulable suspicion that I've done anything. I actually do. No, you do not. Yeah. No, you do not. I I am I am not going to identify. Okay. No. If you fail to identify yourself, I'm going to pull you out of this car and detain you for obstruction right? no because right now you're interfering with my investigation no i've i've done i you 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 do you do oh, oh okay so so you have to have reasonable articulable suspicion that i have committed a crime what crime do you suspect me of committing possible attempted homicide possible attempted homicide yes you suspect me actual me of committing possible attempted homicide. Well, your cooperative behavior right now does not help your cause. No. Being cooperative or 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 uncooperative, I'm not giving up my rights. When you when you when you give up 
Your rights, you'll lose your rights eventually. I have rights as a free American. I've done absolutely nothing. I pulled into a gas station because my friends are here because we're going to... Absolutely not. No, no, no. You, you, this, 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 this is going to go to, to, you guys, you guys have, have, have lost, have lost. Mind. I've done nothing. You can't just go around and pull over and 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 fucking suspect anybody and everybody because no, we haven't. We haven't done that. I, I, that would be a violation of people's rights. Right. Exactly. In the area of a crime. Exactly. With a similar colored vehicle, similar in nature to the description. Okay. What what is what description of that vehicle did you get? Tell me. A dark and colored sedan. A dark and colored sedan. Yeah. Okay. And one of the two people also, excuse me, two people also stated that one of the suspects may be of African American descent. Okay, well, it's not me. I've done nothing. I am not going to identify because you don't have that right to 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 take that right from me. I've done fucking nothing, nothing at all. So if you've done nothing wrong, all you gotta do is identify nope, yourself, nope. and then we can get this. That's over and done that's with not you. how it works. That's how people lose their rights because 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 law enforcement is always like well if you've done nothing then 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 you shouldn't be afraid no that's aaron, that aaron, is that is intimidation fa factors aaron i just need your information absolutely not no all right corporal can you go come over here please hey aaron i understand your situation i yeah. but 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 i i am a free american i'm a veteran marine who's done four deployments to Iraq, you're not going to come up to me and try to intimidate me and Is get my identification. Me? Huh? Who's intimidating you? He is. He's, he, he's. Do you, do you want to talk to me? Yes, yes. Okay. I, I, I do. Right, he'll, he'll step back. All right. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Did he explain to you what's going on? Yes, he did. Okay. And, and, and I, and I understand, I understand what what all is going on, right? But I am a constitutionalist. I believe in the American Constitution. I believe in American rights, especially as a black man, right? I understand. You believe in the rights of somebody who got shot? That has that. Suspect that has nothing to do with me. Well, how would we know that? I feel with them. I feel f for them, right? But that's 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 got You're nothing. Going to a rifle competition, right? I'm going as a guest. Okay, that's kind of cool. We want to get you on your way, man. Okay. All I really need to do is identify you. No, you do not. No, you don't. You already know my name, which means you looked up my freaking license plate, right? So why do you need for me to identify? I'm not giving up my rights as an as a free American because you guys are using intimidation tactics. Failure to identify is a secondary offense. Secondary. You have to have a primary charge, a primary reason, right? I just told you. We Reasonable, to articulable okay. suspicion that I, me, have committed a crime. Not anybody in the fucking area. Me, as a person. Reasonable, articulable suspicion that I have, have committed you ever a crime. Had an ID out of Colorado? Huh? Have you ever had an ID out of Colorado? No. Am I being detained? Yes or no, please. Yes. Okay. At this point, I'm executing my Fifth Amendment right to 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 remain silent. I'm going to remain silent. Silent, just show me a picture ID so I nope. Can confirm that nope. Far. Nope. I am remaining silent. Okay. And I'm gonna send this video to We the People on YouTube and it's 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 gonna blow up and you're gonna look ridiculous for your intimidation tactics that, that you've tried to use on me. I'm just saying. You know what's funny, my buddies that just left, they were also in a dark sedan. A dark sedan, right? But you guys aren't questioning them. Why? Answer me why, please. They were in a dark sedan. The exact same color, actually. The exact same fucking color, and we're going to, to a competition. You said that one of the suspects was identified as, or may have been identified as, as a black American, right? But which, which, which means that, that there might have been a second suspect, right? Was the second suspect white or or? Or Mexican, Hispanic, whatever, right? But you aren't fucking stopping them and questioning them. You stop me, and you wonder why fuckers have such a fucking difficult time understanding how law enforcement 
does shit. They were in a dark sedan, dude. A dark fucking sedan, the exact same color as mine. And you did not stop them and questioning them. You're doing it to me. The reason why I'm contacting you is because another officer saw you leaving that area and requested this vehicle be stopped. Okay? Oh, now, now your story's changing. Guess what? Guess what? They left the area too. I'm the absolute last person to ever bring up race about anything, man. I don't ever bring that up. But I find it hard to believe that my fucking buddy's car, dark sedan, exact same color, dark gray, we leave at the exact same time he doesn't get stopped. Those guns in the other car, he's not really forthcoming with information. Why are you not cooperative? Because I don't, I don't have to be cooperative with your investigation. Well, you have to ID yourself. Right? No, I do not. Okay. I, I, I absolutely do. Tell me why I have to ID. Well, Colorado State Law says you do. E explain that to me. You want me to recite the law? I want you to. You want me to tell I, you? I want you to explain why I, me as a person, have to ID to you. Colorado State Law says you do. Ex explain that law. Okay. And wh what do you want explained? You can't just say, "Well, the law says." You are law enforcement, right? So you're... explain to me why it doesn't. No, 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 no. You, okay, so you, don't you, know. you I you just do want know. The no, you don't. I... How are you going to tell me what I know? Well, because you. Can't How are it. you going to tell me what I know? Because you can't explain it. I did not say that I can't explain it. You as a law enforcement officer, as law enforcement, know the law. Me as a citizen is asking that. First of all, what's your name and your badge number, please? Okay. What's your name and your badge okay. number? What's your name and your badge number, well, I'm not sir? I'm going to give that to you. Colorado, 16-3-103. Stopping of a suspect. A peace officer may stop any person who he reasonably suspects is committing has committed or is about to commit a crime and may require him to give his name and address identification if available and an explanation of his actions a peace officer shall not require any person who would stop pursuant to this section to produce or divulge such person's social security number the stopping shall not constitute an arrest so as we see there is no reasonable articulable suspicion because he doesn't have a proper description it's a dark sedan. What is it? Is it dark black? Is it dark blue? Is it dark gray? And the suspect may, may be a black male. We don't know. So therefore, just because you have that bad description, you can't go around the state or around the city stopping every vehicle that you think may be the suspect. There's going to be a lot of people that see this video that are going to ask, well, why don't you just ID? Why don't you, you, you just ID? That's how you give up your freaking, that's how you lose your rights. You lose your rights when it becomes normal practice to be, well, what are you being hostile for? What are you, what are you not cooperating for? They use words like, like, like that to try to intimidate you to force you to give up your rights. That's how you lose your rights as, as a free American in the United States because the norm becomes, well, just give up your rights. So for all you people that are going to ask, ask that question, that's why I'm not IDing because I'm not going to give up my rights because there's too many sheep out there that don't know the law and are afraid of fucking police. All right, Mr. Booker, you have a nice day. Good luck at your shooting competition. Fuck off, man. Kudos to this citizen. He stood up for his rights and he refused to let Colorado police trample all over his rights. Make sure you know your rights and I want to help you to learn your rights. Down below is a link to my free ebook. Also click the link above my head. Be just like this citizen in this video. Make sure you know your rights. My ebook is going to help you to know what to do when you encounter the police and what they can and what they cannot do. Make sure you know your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off. Thank you.